Um, Hey guys, so a little while ago I did a video on my makeup and storage facility that's back here behind me. And I wanted to kind of dive into some of the products that are stored back here. What I'm gonna be doing today is talking about lipsticks. I'm not gonna show you all of the lipsticks I have. What I thought would be kind of fun would be to share with you what I keep in my kit. This is like a, what lipsticks I keep in my pro kit. I just said the same thing twice. So if you've watched my videos for a while or you go back and watch some of my older videos, you recall that I did a video a long time ago on how to detube your lipsticks and store them in little stackable plastic containers just like this. Now, I still do this, but I kind of use those as just literally storage to store stuff and then pull from it when I want it. I don't usually take those with me. I did finally break down and put my lipsticks in these MAC palettes here. These are the MAC 24 Well palettes. This is the single with the clear top. Now I did a video talking about these palettes. I'll include a link to that in the description of this video as well. You can take a look at it. Do be aware that they changed the price on these things like hours after I uploaded the video. So uh, my information is a little bit out of date. Uh, the price actually plummeted. So these are much more affordable than they used to be part of the reason why I went ahead and made the switch. I will let you know, each of these wells does not hold a full lipstick. It holds probably about two thirds of one, depending on who the lipstick manufacturer is because everybody has different amounts of product in the tube. But I don't wanna talk about palettes. I wanna talk about lipstick. So what I've got here are three palettes. Now, these are my two, what you might call like everyday or main lipstick palettes. And then I have one that's more of an FX kind of a palette. So I have a red, coral, orange, fuchsia, pink palette. I also have a purple, rose, nude, brown palette. And then the FX one, which I'll talk to you about in a second. I did take swatches of all of the colors in here. You'll be seeing those on your screen just to help you out. And some of these products are discontinued. So let's start with the red, pink, coral, orange thing. So for reds, I have Max Russian Red, Max Ruby Woo, Estee Lauder's Cherry Passion, which I believe is discontinued. If I know if something's not available, I'll let you know. I'm not completely sure on all of these though. Mac Chili, Mac Viva Glam One, and Mac Sin. Those are all my sort of kind of straight up reds. Um, a lot of those, oh, almost all of them are, are, are Mac. A lot of my lipsticks in here are MAC. They make a lot of colors and I like a lot of their finishes. In the orange, I have two little rows of orange colors right here. I have Max Neon Orange, Giorgio Armani's 405, which may have a name, I don't know, but that's the number. Uh, Lady Danger by MAC, which is really cool if you like a bright red orange. Max Vegas Volt, which is really, um, coral. These are all kind of coral oranges too. Estee Lauder's Wildfire is another coral one. See, I'm lying. These are all coral, but the first were, ones were orange. Uh, and then Estee Lauder's Melon. Um, I don't know if Wildfire and Melon, I think Melon is still available by Lauder, but I'm not sure about Wildfire. Um, those are my orange and coral shades. Moving into the pinks, I have um, some sort of fuchsia pinks and then some more friendly everyday kind of pinks. And for those, I have Max Bombshell, which I've always liked. A lot of people don't, but it's one of my favorites. I also have Chatterbox, Impassioned by Mac, which is a really, really cool color. And I don't know, that might be a pro shade. You can still get it online if it is. Um, Estee Lauder's Candy, Max Pink Nouveau, which is classic. I don't know anyone who doesn't have that color. Estee Lauder's Lavish Pink, which if I'm not mistaken, was limited edition from their last October's Breast Cancer Awareness Month a little set that they had. I think that's the one. I'm really winging this though, so I could be wrong. Um, also in the pinks, I have uh, Revlon, actually, Cherries in the Snow. This is one of Revlon's oldest lipstick colors that they make. It's it's like old, like fire and ice is old. Cherries in the Snow is one of the prettiest cream blushes. I know it's a lipstick, 
put on your cheeks. It's so pretty. I also have Fusion Pink by MAC, Show Orchid by MAC, which I believe is another pro shade. It's one of those that's been one of my all-time favorites. Petals and Peacocks by MAC, Candy Yum Yum by MAC, and Saint Germain by MAC. Those are my pinks. Moving on to the next palette where we have a lot of purples and brown nude colors and then some sort of what I call like rose, rosy kind of mauve, things like that. Those are gonna fit in here. Uh, I'm gonna start with Blooming Lovely by MAC. This is one that I wish that they would make permanent or bring back again. This is from the um, Liberty of London collection from a couple years ago and it is the coolest like gray based lilac -y sort of purple. I really like it. I also have Viva Glam Nikki 2, Aveda's Sheer Cassava, which I don't think is available anymore, Violetta by MAC, which is um, another one that I think was a pro shade, and it's along with like Show Orchid. Violetta is one of those ones that I say just buy blindly. If you like color and you like to play with lipstick, it's a really cool shade. Max Odyssey, another one of my favorites, and Up the Amp. Also in the purples, I have Smoked Purple. This was always a pro shade. It's really, really cool. If you like shades like Film Noir, that really dark, dark, dark color, it's like a dark, almost black purple. Love this one, and I mix it with a lot of different things. I also have Dark Side by MAC and Rebel by MAC. Then in the sort of nudie browns and stuff, I've got Velvet Teddy, Cream de Nude, and Peach Stock. Those three, love all of them. Wet n Wild's um, 506B. I'm sure this has a name on the website. I love this color, and I like a lot of Wet n Wild's lipsticks, but this is one that I like in particular, and the texture's really nice. Giorgio Armani's number 202, Estee Lauder Rose T, and then Aveda Copper, MAC O, and MAC Film Noir, which I had mentioned before. Those are all my sort of nude, brown, coppery kind of shades. Then moving into the more rosy sort of colors like that. I've got Estee Lauder Bois de Rose, I think is how you say it. I don't know, I didn't take French. I failed th German, took three years of it and flunked, but I don't know any French. Um, Mac Thrills, which is limited edition. I wish they would make this one permanent. It's a really, really, really pretty color. Um, Bronze Shimmer by Mac, also I think limited edition. Is it? No, that one's permanent. I'm thinking of something else. Um, and then Mac Gleam. Estee Lauder Sunstone and Max Viva Glam 4, which is um, of the Viva Glams, one of my favorites. I've given that one its gifts because it's a good cause and it just is a very flattering color on a lot of people. Now for this palette, this is sort of, um, I guess you'd say this is more of an artist's kind of palette. I don't know, if you like to play with stuff, this is the kind of the fun palette for me. In this palette, I've got Max Hot Sass, Babies on Fire, Wham, Naughty You, Troublemaker, and Snazzy. These are all Max Dazzle Finish lipsticks. I did a review of these a while ago. Really, really nice. Super, super glittery. Then I have Liquid Lorex by Mac, Smash Hit, Infused with Glam, Hellraiser, and then Intricate and Pervet. Now, Intricate and Pervet are the two that aren't their dazzle finishes. The rest of them are Hellraiser and Liquid Lorex. If they ever are available, again, just buy them. They're really cool shades, a lot of fun to play with. Liquid Lorex looks amazing on the eyelids, just trust me. Then we have uh, Aurora by Gabriel Cosmetics. Now, I wore this shade in my now infamous uh, L'Oreal One Sweep eyeshadow video, if you haven't seen it. Just search for it, it's pretty easy to find. And uh, it's a nice um, pale frosted kind of beigey gold. Really, really like this and it's a lot of fun to mix with other things. Whirls and Twirls by MAC, another one that I would love to see be permanent but was um, limited edition. Sensational by MAC, that's the one that I thought when I said bronze shimmer was, was limited edition, it was sensational. Also, Estee Lauder's Pearlescent, MAC's Metal Maven, and MAC's Bubbles. I think almost all of these. <laughs> lipstick colors in here are not available anymore, but I really, really like them. I also have Estee Lauder's Gunmetal. These are great shades that came out. Um, Pearlescent and Gunmetal came out, I think, last year. The I think it was last summer. Um, that just do such a neat job at really altering the look of whatever you have under it. Uh, I also have Black Knight by MAC. Uh, Lipstick Queen's Black Tie Optional in Lipstick. And then the three Lime Crime shades that I have are New York City, Meant to Be, and No She Didn't. These I just like to use as kind of bases to mix with other colors. So yeah, those are my lipstick palettes. 
and that's my dog scratching at the door. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. Make sure you check the description area of this video because I do use the space. I know, I'm coming. Um, I guess that's it. So, um, yeah. Hey. And... Did I say my thing? Until I see you next time, which will be soon. Please take care and drive safe. <laughs>